Yay, I have green lines. Sorry about that, my headset was, um, yeah, it was being a pain. Which it had been working all day and it was just when I teleported in here, it's like, yeah, no, not gonna work. Okay, a um, couple minutes late, but hi everybody. Um, thanks for coming today. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the projects that the web team has worked on in the last, Lucy, you can't hear me? Or are you just messing with me? See my green lines, I know I'm okay. <laughs> Okay. Maybe I need to go beat up Lucy's headset too. always a mute button somewhere. Okay, so I was just saying I was going to go over some of the projects that the web team has been working on for the last month. Um, I know for the last couple of months I've been saying we've been doing a lot of internal um, work. We're doing some updates, some operating system updates. We are still working on those. Uh, we're getting through those. A lot of those take a long time, so we've been doing them piece by piece, but uh, we're still working on some of that. Uh, we had some internal tools uh, work that was done. Uh, there was some work done on World API that should have helped with uh, with speed a little bit. Um, that was done way back at the beginning of the month, so I haven't really heard. Okay, good. I was going to say I haven't heard anything that it's gotten worse, so <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, Back at the beginning of the month, we also rolled out a new email validation uh, at join. So if you haven't looked at the new, uh, if you haven't looked at the join process in a while, it will actually validate that the email address that you enter is a valid email before it lets you continue on uh, to creating your account. So that went out. Um, we had an issue where on join there was a link to download the viewer and when you clicked on that link it would actually open up another tab uh, that says okay if you want to download the viewer now click here um, and it just seemed a little bit redundant so we took that out so there's just now one click and you get to download the viewer um, we did some cosmetic improvements to the land store I don't know if anybody will notice them, they're just kind of small little cosmetic fixes here and there. Um, one of our larger projects that we did, no, not cost. <laughs> no changes to cost, not yet. Um, but one of the projects we did is when you wanted to, uh, to downgrade your account from premium, um, and let's say you changed your mind, you would actually need to contact the support team and cancel that request. Um, we have made that possible to do now on the website uh, yourself with no contact to the support team, so it's a little bit easier to go through that process. Um, we fixed an issue where if you searched for an empty string on maps, you would get an error message. So we've gone in and fixed that. We did a little bit of work on marketplace keyword fixes that mostly centered around making the maturity of the item match the maturity that you have set uh, in your search for marketplace. We found that there were some inconsistencies, so we had to tighten that up a little bit. Um, and there were people, some people were adding punctuation into their um, description of the product to kind of try to get around the um, adult maturity setting on it. Um, and they kind of notice that it, how if we put punctuation in this adult phrase, it will um, 
show up as as mature as opposed to adult therefore going to a wider audience but unfortunately also going to people who don't necessarily want to see that adult content so we did some work to uh to tighten that up a little bit <clears throat> um as of today the new logo is on the marketplace it hadn't been rolled out to marketplace yet but we did get that updated so you now have the blue hand uh, and the new um the new font on the Second Life title. Uh, we fixed an issue with uh, test delivery where it wasn't actually delivering. Uh, so if you hit test delivery, you would get a message back that said successful, and then you get an error message and it didn't actually deliver. So that, uh, that should be all fixed now. And then the biggest project that I've been working on that you kind of had a preview if you got the new viewer and you notice there's a little guidebook button at the bottom. Um, that's because we had worked on creating a brand new new user experience uh, on Welcome Island. Welcome Back Island is its companion region. That one is fully open to the public. So if you want to go see what the new Welcome Island looks like, you can go to Welcome Back Island. It's an exact same copy. And you can pull up the guidebook and, and kind of see the new tutorial that goes through there. So we're going to be looking the next... Um, a month or so and comparing the new Welcome Back Island to Learning Island and also comparing it to uh, Firestorm's orientation. Oh, I didn't know you posted that today, Anara. I actually went and looked this morning to see if you had done that. Public testing region for what? The Welcome Back Island? Uh, we're going to be comparing uh, which one has better success at uh, new user retention. In the old learning island, oh, we have special ways of measuring that. In the old learning island, we would have people that would only go, let's say, halfway through the tutorial process and then log out and never come back again. So what we've done in this new iteration is we have made it um, a lot shorter. You don't have to walk forever to get from place to place. Um, we've made it a little bit simpler. Uh, and well, you but you can only go to Learning Island the one time. So we still have people that are going into Learning Island as well as into uh, Welcome Back or Welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we look at, at where they started and we look at retention rates based on the region that they started in. Uh, as far as localizing the guidebook, so yeah, that is something that's going to be, you know, down the road. This is like brand new. We had to really come up with some new ways of um, doing this, the guidebook, and it's actually, you know, a test at this point because we want to see, you know, is this helpful? Do people like this? Are people going to, you know, look at the guidebook more um, than reading Signs and World? Is this a better way to go to help people get in and get acclimated to Second Life? So if in this test phase, it looks like, you know, yeah, this is, you know, getting some, some good traction, people like this, people are actually uh, interacting with it more, um, then we'll look at, at rolling it out to, uh, you know, a, a larger community and we'll look at things like localization, um, but you know, during the testing phase, we may be making some small changes here and there. Uh, could be changes to the guidebook pages. Could be pa could be changes to um, you know the island itself. Um, could be changes to the little stations, the different stations that are in there. One thing that we just weren't, didn't have time to integrate were um, you know new avatars. So we do have a section in there for avatars to kind of give give people an idea of what uh, what avatars could look like. But there will be later on there there will be some newer avatars avatars that we introduce and we'll we'll introduce them there. So this this um, version of the tutorial for Second Life just gives us a lot more flexibility it's easier to change things everything's kind of modular you know if you look at that region it's um it's really modular it's easy for us to kind of pick a section up and replace it with a different type of section 
Uh, it might be Lucy, it might be the new SL mesh body that may have been hinted at by somebody that works here, maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's this is kind of our first look at it, our first crack at trying to do something you know, different, something that was very different from what we've done in the past um, and that was maybe a little bit more engaging. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to, you know, take in all the feedback that we get from it, um, take a look at some of our data that we are able to gather from it and uh, and see where we go from there. So it's kind of in a beta-ish phase right now. Um, and I can give you a little bit of info on mobile, on the mobile app. Um, we do have a version that uh, we submitted to the App Store that did get approved, which was great because we'd been having some issues with approval. Um, that has all been solved, but it's not yet in the App Store. We have um, a few more features we want to put into it before we actually post it up on the App Store. And for those of you who maybe don't know about the app, the, uh, the mobile app, we, do, we are working on an iOS only mobile app right now. Android is kind of on the heels of that, but we need to get the, the iOS one out first. We have a little bit more work to do before we can do Android. Um, and it is only a, uh, a chat app. It's just kind of a companion app for Second Life where you can kind of keep in touch and chat with people in world without actually being logged in. So we are working furiously trying to get the next set of features into it before we actually pop it up onto the App Store. And I think that is the bulk of what we've been working on for the last 30 days. Uh, for the app, uh, you know, I, we only have it, we don't have very many people who have it right now. There's maybe 40 or 50 people that have it. Um, so I, we don't really have concurrency numbers on it. We haven't done widespread testing yet with it yet. I mean, we didn't have any trouble when we all jumped on with it. So, but we'll be taking a look at that before we post it, obviously. Basically, what you do is you, you, you your presence is kind of logged into uh, one of our mobile regions. So you're you're kind of in world, kind of not. Um, it's not a region that anybody else can get to. Um, so, you know, as long as there is space on those regions, which we make sure there is, there won't be any problem, prob uh, won't be any problem with that. Full mobile, mobile viewer with 3D view, that's going to be down the road um, if we do get there. Um, we have kind of talked about that in the past. It's going to take a lot of work. I know we have some other, you know, full 3D viewers out there, mobile viewers out there. Um, and I know everybody's really anxious to get one. I would love to have one as well. Um, but it is, it is going to take quite a bit of work. And uh, it is something that, that we have kind of on our roadmap, but it's way down the line. Uh, Lucy, yes, it is, the contained environment is, is what we're going to be looking at going forward. Um, that's, you know, I'd have to go back and look and see why we did that. But it was more of a, you know, you can't see yourself anyway, so we don't want you out in public because, you know, griefers like to do weird things to people. That would have in, introduced a little bit more complexity in trying to decide, are you on desktop or are you on mobile uh, when you're on, you know, in, in whatever your home region is. So we just have a set of mobile only, only regions that, like I said, unless you are on the mobile app, you won't be able to get to them. Um, it was just a little bit easier to do it that way. You know, obviously, if we go 3D, that's all going to change. But for now, that's that's what we're sticking with right now. Uh, 
Um, Carolyn, introducing a buck, uh, buck, bulk upload image option on Marketplace. Um, I would say if that's something you would want to see, go ahead and send in a, uh, a JIRA for it and we can take a look and see if that's, any, if that's something that would be possible. Um, localized chat, in world chat, outside of IM. No, there's not. It's only uh, it's only IM at this point in time. We're going to be introducing group chat, but there's not going to be any local chat within those regions. Group chat, I think, is a couple of releases down. Oh, I can't remember. I'll have to take a look. We're actually going through the roadmap and deciding which features are going to go where. So, um, but group chat is, you know, it's it's going to be a priority, even though, you know, we have problems. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you, we're, we're going to be, right now it's just individual, right? It's just direct IM. Um, but then, yeah, we'll have group chat and then we can take a look at, you know, adding, you know, creating a chat room, right? Grabbing two or three friends and putting them into a room. You do not see the list of people in the region. Nope. So, so Lucy, the idea behind just having the chat app is, you know, the, our, our main precedent was for merchants to be able to keep in touch uh, with their customers, right? So if you have a customer IMU and you're not online, it will hit, you know, you have the option to have it hit your app as opposed to just going to email. Um, so you can then jump in and direct, you know, direct chat with that customer through the mobile app instead of having to log in world to talk to them. Um, so you'll have you'll have your friends list, you'll have group lists. It, it's not meant to be a way to find new people to chat. Um, it's meant to be able to allow you to chat with people that you already know. And you'll actually be able to search. So if you know somebody's name, if you know the name of somebody you want to go find, you will be able to search it, search for their name and find them that way. Well, that might be something that we can, you know, implement down the road. They do tend to send note cards. Um, this, you know, kind of, yeah, I mean, right now you're not going to be able to see a note card in the mobile app because you don't see your inventory right now. Inventory is a whole other bucket of worms that we are going to need to tackle at some point. <laughs> it would be cool, yeah, to be able to pull note cards up. Um, Yeah, Arabella. I mean, you 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 can say it, but it that would be something to take up with the um, the viewer user group. We have different user groups for the different areas in the lab, and there is one for viewer. So if you have you know questions or concerns or complaints <laughs> about the viewers, that would be the place to take it.
That's actually something that we've um, we've been tossing around internally is some kind of a block list or be able to you know limit the results that you see based on certain criteria, right? Um, like, uh, yeah, I mean, for instance, you know what what you've said here um, that is something that that we are looking at and kind of tossing around as possibly being able to implement at some point. Um, it's not anywhere on the near future, but it is something we're taking a look at. Um, I mean, if you have something very specific in mind as to how you would want to see that laid out and function, um, you know, send in a, a JIRA and we can take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, after you've shopped for so much in Second Life or been to so many shops, you can tell, you know, who's, who's things you don't want to see, right? <laughs> don't show me any of those persons. Yep, I've been there. <laughs> this may look good in the picture, but it's certainly not what it seems to be when I get it. Yeah. So it is, like I said, it is something that we're taking a look at, but if there is something, you know, very specific, you would like to see it. Uh, the way that it functions or anything like that. Um, if you send a JIRA in, I can add it to um, to the one I already have. Oh, one thing I didn't mention last month was uh, birthday. We had our birthday celebration last month too. <laughs> oh, and I can't tell you, we're, we're taking a look, one of our next projects is going to be looking at search. Um, and I can't give you any, you know, obvious direct information on it right now. But we are taking a look at how search functions and how we want search to function and how people expect search to function. Um, so that we can make some improvements to the search process. That's probably going to be much later in the year, possibly beginning of next year, um, that we actually see any movement on that. But it is something that we, we are aware that it's a bit of a, a pain point. Um, we've all seen it as well when we go in world and we try to search for things. So um, that is going to be one of our larger projects that we work on coming up here pretty soon. Support link is still broken on some pages like billing information. What do you mean broken? Like it gives you an error message or you can't get to support at all? I don't know that I was aware of that issue. I was out most of last night, oh, last, last night, last week, <laughs> except for rolling out new user, so. I may be a little behind on what we've had reported. Huh. Okay. Under help? Okay. Okay, under help, that works for me. Account history statement page, let's see. Oops. 
Ooh, that's ugly. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, I don't know. Let me, I'll go see. Ooh, we do have a book report. Yay. Okay. All right. Huh, okay. So we do have that. Uh, I'm trying to see where we're at. We've got, I haven't had any movement on it. I'll see what I can do about kind of nudging that along. I don't know how I missed that one. <laughs> yeah, we have we've we've converted that to a we have an internal Jira on that as well. So I'll poke around on that one. Um, quest. We would all like to see the new last release. I'm not sure what you mean by that. If if you could clarify that, I might be able to answer that for you. I'm not sure what you're looking for, uh, the new last release. Mm, on latest releases and updates, yeah. Only left for being told when they join or sign up for Second Life. The player is basic. Uh, I'm not sure where they'd be getting that information from. You mean they're being told that if they come in as a basic resident that they get a Second Life home? Yeah, rumors. A lot of rumors. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure where they'd be getting that info from. Yeah, I'm not sure 
where who's who's saying it, but it's definitely not coming from from Linden Lab. I mean, as a basic account, you could, you can rent a parcel from somebody else. You don't have to have a premium uh, account to rent a parcel on, um, on a private estate. I mean, you can always, if somebody is, you know, saying something that's, you know, not right or is misleading somebody to, uh, you know, in an attempt to get money from them or something like that, you can always abuse report them. That way our governance team can look into it and see if they're doing any, anything nefarious that they need to be talked to about. <laughs> Competitors always trying to undermine everybody else. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure who who would have been telling him that. Um, you know, if you want, if you wanted to have a Linden home, you do have to have a uh, a premium account. But there are ways as basic accounts to have a, a parcel of land, and that would be to rent from uh, somebody who has a private estate. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. We just did our feature request triage earlier today, but I can take a look at that one when we're done here. <laughs> yes, I do remember those today. Did we deny yours, Lucy? I don't remember. Did you have one in there? We did. We were kind of on fire today. There were some good suggestions in there, and and they were suggestions that kind of went along with uh, things that we uh, were already thinking about. One thousand word one. Oh no! <laughs> Don't make it too long, because then we get kind of bored reading through them. <laughs> we like to make those meetings like quick. <laughs> So we can get through them all. Although lately there haven't been too many in there, so we don't have to rush through them. A thousand words. Oh. I'll warn the rest of the team. Grab some snacks and settle in. It does. It does help to be thorough sometimes.
as long as it's not rambly, you know. <laughs> Right. And with some topics, it's hard to be, it's hard to be concise enough and still get your point across. So yeah, I get it. <laughs> exactly, Spidey. <laughs> oh, one thing I forgot to mention. We had some new last names go out last month. <laughs> one thing that I can mention, I guess I should say. Uh, we had some new names go out last month, a, little, a few for Father's Day. And then uh, some for birthday. The birthday ones uh, are going to be going offline soon. And we will replace those with some new last names. <laughs> Why did we go with Sire? Um, we went with Sire. It might have, but we knew Daddy was going to be pretty popular kind of had a feeling that that one was gonna you know was gonna be really popular we went with sire because we thought that would be um a little attractive to uh the vampire community if i have to be honest a lot of times when we look at the names we we try to keep them keep in mind you know what would the different communities how could the different communities use these names it was a gamble Well, there are custom last names, but <laughs> right now that, that program is uh, pretty expensive. Dozens of daddies. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun the day we released the Father's Day last names to sit there and watch the names come rolling in um, and see all the different versions of daddy because we we knew it was going to be bad some of them were pretty hysterical yes and i do remember that i do remember that um feature request for the the custom last names and that's, I, we accepted that because it is something that we're taking a look at. We haven't quite figured out how we want that to look just yet, but it is kind of on the list to be done at some point, probably next year if we get to it at all. But yeah, there's, there, I have a lot of ideas on improving the last name program, um, you know, including uh, it, it just, there's a lot of stuff, <laughs> but it kind of loops in having multiple um, partners in Second Life as well, which is, you know, something that the community has really been asking for for quite a while for many different reasons, many different uses. So that's kind of something we started talking about custom last names and, and how, you know, you could do it for, <laughs> do it for, you know, families and groups and, and all of this. And then we kind of got into the, well, you know, how could we do it with partnerships and all that? So it, it, it kind of snowballed for us as we were thinking about that one. A top 20 list of, of the daddy last names. <laughs> well, you can all see the daddy last names. <laughs> yeah, versions of that. Versions of who's your daddy? There were there were some ones that we were not disappointed on with daddy. <laughs> daddy almost didn't make it because we thought that was pushing it too much. But at, in the end, I was like, no, we got it. We got to do it. People are going to like that. <laughs> 
So we'll come up with some new last names um, uh, probably early next week. Yeah, we, we can save Papa for next year. Um, and then that will be it for new names until probably around Halloween. So uh, end of October, we'll look at probably doing some, some spooky-ish type, type last names. But yeah, both the both the Mother's Day and Father's Day ones were kind of you know little tests of you know how how does the community like you know limited edition names and and short offerings things like that. So it was kind of our, our kind of kind of testing the waters to see how it would be accepted. Um, and I think on both days we had a, a couple of names that were um, were really well received. So we're like okay. Let's do this for different things. Of course, the Uwu and Owu names were wildly uh, popular as well. Yeah, like I said, we were we were just kind of testing the waters there, so we only did a couple for each day. Just kind of trying some stuff out. But yeah, I mean, we're we're totally open to you know offering last names for um, different occasions, uh, different meme type last names. Angela, can you hear me now? <laughs> I just stopped talking so I could type out. Okay, good. Yeah, I just I stopped talking just so I could type instead. <laughs> uh, more discussion on grid scope experiences. There has been discussion, um, but it's not much of a high priority right now with some other projects going on. But it is still, it's it's still there. It's still something that we're considering and thinking about. Um, it's not dead yet. More KVP DB space. Yeah, I hear you. So do I. 
<laughs> I'm not telling. I can't tell. Yes, that is correct. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not it, it's not a an LL project for sure. But we we've had a lot of a lot of projects this year. Um, we have a lot of ideas, and you all have a lot of ideas. So <laughs> we're we're doing our best to keep up with everybody's uh, everybody's requests. But Gridscope uh, Gridscope is still there. In fact, it is on my my slate to do if we ever do go forward with it. A feasibility question. Oh, no. Ability to link an older listing to a newer listing and allow a discount on the newer listing if a buyer previously purchased the older listing. Oh my gosh. Do I need a drink before this? Older and newer are used for context. Anything can potentially be linked for a discount, such as linking a listing for a mesh head that if previously purchased allows for a discount on a recent makeup kit or skin. Just be in the same store. Uh, I, yeah, I get what you're saying. That would be interesting. Yeah, I, I kind of like that idea. Getting people to come back. Yes, uh, variance. That's variance is something that um, that we have uh, uh, kind of uh, sitting sitting in the background. It's a project that we want to do. And it, when we were talking earlier today, I don't think it's something we're going to be able to get to this year um, because of the search issue that we're going to be looking at. Um, but yeah, having having uh, variants on the marketplace is definitely a project that we we want to make happen. <laughs> For sure, it was something we were going to try to do towards the end of the year, but then search 
is a little bit more important right now. So, yeah. Yeah, Lucy, I like that idea. You should write that up. Yeah. Hire more employees. Uh, last names are not sorted, uh, but I might be able to get it done. Um, and yeah, I mean, as far as um, people in real life telling you about Second Life, the only thing I can say is make sure you read uh, everything on the, uh, the Second Life website when it comes to uh, premium land ownership. We have different types of project products. We have premium land. And we also have, you can actually uh, rent a parcel from somebody else who has a private estate. Uh, you don't have to be premium for that. You can be a basic member for that. But yeah, I mean, I can't, we can't, we can't control what people outside in the real world are saying. Um, you know, we, we post all the information about how Second Life works on the website. Um, and I would say, you know, if you're, if you're considering spending money uh, in Second Life, definitely take a look at uh, at what's on the website and how uh, how the everything works. Everything you know, land or premium membership or uh, you know, being a merchant, things like that. Okay, we have almost come to the end of our time together today. Any other burning questions? <laughs> Just want to forget. Yeah, you and me both, man. <laughs> we have all the questions in the world, and then when it comes time to ask them, I just forget. I do not know the answer to that question, Lucy. But I can give you the soon answer. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm not sure uh, about timing on that. Soon TM. Yeah. I'm glad you're able to come, Angela. I hope we, we see you again soon. We do this every month. <laughs> Sometimes we have more to talk about than, than other times. This time we had, we had a lot going on this time. I don't think you're done, Lucy. <laughs> I think you're just stopping, right? <laughs> oh, no, not large scripts. Oh, look at the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what about polls? 
Um, yeah, well, okay, so we already have, uh, we do have um, instant polling, and it's something, it, we've, we've built it, and it was out there for, I think, one test run. Oh, you're talking about polling on the forums, is that right? Is that what yours? Yeah. Um, was it accepted? Maybe I'm thinking of what one person said to me. Sorry, post with a poll. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I thought you meant polling like on the web. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to go find out and see where that's at. Mm -hmm. Let me find our internal Jira. What about Premium Plus? Uh, it's it's still shelved. <laughs> I mean, it's it's still there. We're still thinking about it, but it it's not going anywhere right now. That one is not on my plate, but yeah. Uh, Premium Plus was a project that we had looked at, oh, two years ago now? Yeah, um, to offer different, uh, different levels of, um, different levels of membership that had different benefits tied to it. Yep, we are a little over time, um, but I need to go run off to another meeting. But thanks for coming, everybody. It was good seeing you all. Um, and hopefully next month we'll have uh, some new exciting things to talk about as well. <laughs> thanks for the gesture. <laughs> sort of names. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you.